Hello everyone, this is Dan Sparse and welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2 A Game of Thrones. Uh, in the last video, we, our old wife, Jane Rivers, who was from House Frey, uh, she was a bastard from House Frey, died uh, giving birth to Amphiria, our daughter. And so, because we needed a new uh, marriage, because we were still very young, uh, we married Lenice Hightower. Um, and her father was very, you know, very cheap with the dowry. Um, in other news, King Robert died from suspicious circumstances. So it's pretty much obvious he was assassinated. Um, now it doesn't say who it was, uh, cause I guess... You know, it's, we don't really know who it was, which kind of sucks. I would like to know who it was. My guess is it was either Stannis or Daenerys, uh, because they are cl claimants to the Iron Throne. Uh, Daenerys is only five years old, though, so it was probably Stannis. Um, that's my guess, is it was Stannis. Uh, and so... Now King Marin, Robert's son, has taken all the wars, all of his father's wars, uh, the war f for the Reach and the war of Griffin's Roost Independence, um, and we'll see how those turn out for him. Um, it might not be very good. But let's find out. Lord Hobart died in the dungeons. God damn it. <laughs> I wanted to... I had... Another thing I had done is I had imprisoned the uh, Lord of Maidfalls, I do believe it was, because he had tried to um, he had tried to gain the loyalty of my Septon, which was not okay. And I was and I wished I, I wanted to try and banish him to the wall, but I guess I couldn't, and he just ended up dying. So oh well, what are you gonna do? Can't do anything about it, I guess. Let's see, how are these wars doing? 50% in favor of King Marin, 79% in favor of Lord John of Griffin's Roost. Someone needs to come down here and take out uh, John Connington's armies. Oh no! At age zero, Moria Spice Sparse died stillborn, so we lost a daughter. That is... Not cool. It was long and hard night, and in the end it seems for nothing. Little Moria never lived. Words failed me. So now we... Are we depressed? Oh, thank goodness. We didn't get depressed. Um, now all Robert... Or not Robert. All... Uh, Mer oh, the War for the Reach is over. So now there's just one little rebellion going on. Looks like Mace was allowed to keep his title. Very interesting. Right? Let's see. Uh, Lord has been... Yeah. Mace, despite being uh, a rebel, was allowed to keep his title. Uh, Dorne has still not been given to anyone, but we're probably waiting until this last rebellion is finished. Um, and the army of... Griffin's Roost is very small. It could easily be wiped out at this point. Um, King of the Isle of Throne, in the name of the Father, I, King Marin of the House Baratheon, promise, pledge, and guarantee in the sight of the Seven that I will be the protector and defender of the realm in all ways useful to it. However many, insofar as I'm supported by blah 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 blah. We've seen this before. All right. So who's the regent? Master. Oh God, Maester Pycelle is the regent. Oh, jeez. That's not good. Now, I, I will be curious to see who gets Dorn after all these wars are over. Um, it will be very interesting. Two sixteen. You know what? Uh, hmm. No, we wouldn't be able to even join. Oh, another thing that happened in the last video is we were given a knighthood. 
So that was cool. <laughs> uh, and it looks like this is pretty much over now. John Connington had a good run going for him, but you know the other rebellions just the other rebellions just couldn't uh, couldn't keep uh, Robert and then later Marin and his allies distracted enough. So the war is over. So the realm should combine back together at some point, should it not? It should. A man named Grolio has arrived at your court. He claims to be an escaped slave from Karth. Interesting. Okay. So... Don't know what he's doing here. He could probably become a Master of Whispers. But my current Master of Whispers is way better. He wants to gain an honorary title. Why would I do that? You're a weirdo. <laughs> Lord Stevron of the Crossing agreed to become a vassal of Lord Paramount Hoster of the Riverlands. Wait, Stevron Frey? Uh, Walder Frey died a natural death at the age of 77. And so Stevron Frey has taken his place. Interesting. Alright, see the Iron Throne is starting to regain all of its territories. For some reason the Riverlands is still not part of it. There we go. So the Iron Throne has re reformed, um, but now it's a very obnoxious sort of view. So we need to switch to something else. Uh, Dejour High Lordships, Dejour Regions. Yeah, the Dejour Regions view is probably the best one for now. Now, oh, as you make your way home late one night, escorted by your bodyguard, you run into several drunken peasants having a fist fight in the middle of the street. Your guards attempt to steer you away, but you have an ID. idea. Would this not be a perfect sparring opportunity in which to improve your martial ability? Sure, let's do it. Because we do want to improve our combat ability and our martials, so let's put them up. After ordering your guards back, you join the wild melee. You get several blows in before the ruffians react to your presence, but things go poorly when you fight one of them on even terms. Soon you lie bruised in the mud with a taste of blood in your mouth. Your smiling opponent offers his help, his hand to help you up. 50% chance of trained fighter, 50% chance of wounded. And we lose 15 prestige. Please, trained fighter! Aw, oh, we got the wounded trait. God darn it. Hmm. Doran is still... I guess we could do direct vassals. That's another mode we could do. So Doran has still not been given out to anyone, which I find is interesting. Uh, let's take a look at the north. Eddard still does not have a son, but there is an Arya. That's interesting. Uh, the Vale. John of the Vale has an heir. Lady Alice. I think that was there before. Has... Oh no! Oh wait, no. Willa Stark. Willa Stark, what? Huh. Did she have a lover? She had two lovers. Marwyn and Jarman. Sir Marwyn of the Iron Throne. That is interesting. So... There's a Willa Stark who is a, who is a bastard, but she is not the child of Robert Baratheon. Huh. Very interesting. Oops. Lorimer Serret is the only living child of Cersei Lannister at this point. And has Tyrion. Tyrion has not be gotten married either. So what's happened? Lord has been released. Average military ruler. We had poor military ruler happen to us. Well. Lord Paramount Balon of the Iron Islands has founded the Lower Crown Authority and the Iron Throne Faction. So he wants the Lower Crown Authority. It's probably not going to happen at any point. Just a guess. Lord Vanyan of Skagos has created the title of High Lord of Skagos. 
Interesting. So I guess Skagos has been united. John Connington... Oh, I missed a bunch of things. Ransom John. Who is this? I don't know. I don't know who this is. Oh, well. Um, so John Connington. Let's see. We can... Griffin's Roost. Claimants. Here we go. John Connington. He is a homosexual. Uh, he's still alive. He's on... Where is he? He's at Dragonstone. Interesting. Now I wonder if we could marry one of these other Stark children. Not her. She's slow. Possibly Arya. Lord Permanent Eddard of the North has created High Lordship of White Harbor. Did White Harbor not exist? What happened to the Manderleys? What happened to the Manderleys? Why am in Manderley? Huh. Why did the Manderleys lose their lordship? That's weird. And so not cool. Did the Manderleys like rebel against uh, the North or something? Hmm. King Marin of the Iron Throne has made handed King Tywin the learned lion, Castellan. So, Tywin is Hand of the King. Of course he is. <laughs> Dorne has still not been given away to anyone, which is really weird. Alright, here we go. We can finally start educating our son. It is time for me to choose how I want to educate my son, Ryan Sparse. He'll be educated at court. He'll be... I want him to be good with numbers. He'll be groomed for command. I have no time for this. Well, he's a stutter, so diplomacy might be not might not be very good. I think we're gonna groom him for command. He'll be groomed for command. I think command is always a good one to have in this in the mod anyway. I mean, numbers is also good, but you know, command you get a lot more options. You know, you can become a knight and poor fighters and you can lead armies and do the whole you know personal combat stuff I think it's it's better in the mod that you try and focus on command so we'll be trained in educate martial education what's happening here I'm a gardener why am I a gardener my garden is the apple of my eye my pride and joy I distrust my gardener and would spend every hour of the day in my garden if I could I'm a gardener that's interesting. <laughs> I don't know why I became a gardener. One week claim can be pressed. Do I want to claim the crossing for my son? I don't think I have any allies I could call. Well, I could call Hightower into war, but how many men do the phrase have? A lot, right? Stevron Frey. Yeah. That's a lot of men. I don't think I'm going to try it. Prince Oberyn for Dorne faction. Interesting. I wonder why he hasn't released Dorne yet. It is interesting. Hmm. Oh, what is this? Ryan Sparse lacks a guardian. Alright. Well, I think it's best for us to raise our own son. Can we? Why can't we? Are we not able to train or, or educate our own son? Educate child. Yeah, it looks like we aren't allowed to do it. That is odd. So, let's find someone... Uh, well, he's going to be in combat, so we might want to find someone who's good with combat, who has some good, uh, so let's just go ahead and do Marshall. But we might also want to give him some stewardship education, because he is being trained in the ways of war, but we might want to give him some stewardship stuff also, maybe? I don't know. Marshall. Dutiful, commander, gluttonous, ambitious, gregarious, family person. 
So he is a dutiful commander, Marshal plus four. Brilliant commander, Marshal plus eight. Hmm. Poor fighter. Former slave. No, we don't want to train him with you. No. <laughs> um, he's a poet, and he's a knight. Well, if we give him to Sir Owen, Ryan Sparse would then become like a... Uh, a squire, would he not? And while the ambitious and ambitious trait is good, he has the lustful trait, and there's not a, necessarily a guarantee that he'll get content. Uh, Owen has too many good things, so I'm going to give him to Sir Owen. And hopefully Sir Owen will be able to... Oh, what's this? A message about Educate Titles from Titles Blackwood. Um, he wants to be trained in the old gods. I am sorry, but no. Um, he, I've already arranged him to be a, a squire. Who's this? Whose army is this? Harrenhal? Who's Harrenhal at war with? Greywater Watch and Aaronford. Interesting. Mina Swigert has been released from something... All right. So my wife wants to have a daughter. Oh no. Who's Allison then? Oh. She's Allison. She wants to have a daughter. Right, 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 right. Okay. Now why what is what is their deal? Leobald Tall heart of Greywater Watch. What happened to Howland Reed? Oh, Howland Reed died. So the Reeds are no more. That is sad. So the Reeds no longer exist in this world. So sad. So very, very sad. Mace Tyrell. Lots of children for Mace Tyrell. There's Marjorie Tyrell. I wonder. Could we get a betrothal? We could get a betrothal with Marjorie. That would be interesting. Hmm. Let's keep her marked as maybe an option. What? Uh oh. Tyrion was killed under suspicious circumstances. Huh. Interesting. Well, that just means that once Cersei becomes a. Uh, Lady Paramount of the Westerlands that eventually the Lannisters are going to be replaced by the Serrets. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. The old wound is finally healed, leaving a pretty grotesque scar behind. Ew. That's fine. Scar is cool. And we are back to average military ruler, which is cool also. Let's see, is anything else going on? Oh, I want to see, does Stannis have a son? Stannis does not have a son. His heir is Renly. Whoa, 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 whoa. Something just happened. Something big just happened. Lord Paramount Balin II of the Iron Islands has declared the Iron Throne Civil War to lower crown authority on King Marin of the Iron Throne. So... Who is on whose side here? We have Cracklaw Points, Prince's Pass, Edgerton, uh, South Cracklaw Points, uh, and Tywin siding with Balon to lower crown authority. And in defense of King Marin, you have Mace Tyrell of the Reach, you have Renly Baratheon of the Stormlands, you have uh, John Aaron of the Vale, you have Vaith and Brimstone. So they have all heeded the call to arms. Very interesting indeed. And it looks like even this stuff is starting to divide up. Very interesting indeed. And I think we are pretty close to the time, so. We're going to end this video off here. Uh, <laughs> it 
with another rebellion against the Iron Throne, this is probably going to be a very common occurrence for the near future. Um, anyway, until next time, this has been Dansparse. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, leave me questions if you want to know anything. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Tumblr. Links are in the description below, as is a link to this mod. I know I sometimes forget to say it, but there is a link in the description if you would like it. Uh, so, until next time, bye!